Boite River in Cortina and there are a few trout right there From now on, the vlogs will uh, appear on Wednesday or on Thursday because uh, fishing season starts in a few days and during the weekends I will be very busy. So next vlogs, Wednesday, Thursday. Now vlog number nine is all uh, about the fishing fair we had uh, this last week, a very busy fishing fair. The fishing fair in uh, uh, Vicenza, which is the number one fishing fair in, we have in Italy, with uh, an entire pavilion dedicated to fly fishing. So um, fly fishing with many international guests. It was tough because we had to build our stand and we had lots of gear. I had to rent a small van. We drove with two cars and in our stand we were five people. A lot of work but a lot of fun because it's always fly fishing and this is my world. fly fishing pavilion is now very popular in Italy and not only in Italy. There are many guests too. There are different stands, some uh, international stands. There are uh, people coming from Ireland, from Germany, from uh, Austria, from Czech Republic. Uh, the fair in Vicenza is popular because you can buy. So there are many people who just came for uh, buying, they have uh, a great choice because all the biggest shops, the Italian shops, but not only the Italian shops, meet in one point and so you can uh, find almost uh, everything. Sunday we had at least 50% less people than Saturday. Saturday it was like, like hell, there was people everywhere. I, I really couldn't talk with uh, everybody who wanted to talk with me. I'm sorry about this. Uh, on Sunday I had a little bit more time and the footage you will see is the footage of Sunday. All the shops are, are doing a little bit of discount so you can buy good gear, quality gear or new gear with a 10% or more discount. So going and visit a fishing fair while the fishing season is closed because first fishing then everything else. Uh, I said um, visiting a fishing fair can be a good idea.
fly fishing fair is over. Unboxing! Baltic fly fisher. A lot of commando. And laser line. Again, you already know this. But this is very new. Ops commando 12 feet sink tip. You can match these with these. Then eco ion fly reel. It's a good reel. It's not too expensive, but it's very durable. This is a small one. Very new from Eco. The trip rod. If you travel and don't want to bring with you long rods, this is the best solution. Okay. Then we have some more Eco Dry. Nine feet line to dry, Eco Dry. This means this is a slow rod. Uh, line 2 is very light. This could be a fantastic uh, uh, nymphing rod. Eco glass, eco base, and then we have the eco TR Spay. Second box from Austria. It's World Fly Angler. Tacky boxes, Dr. Slick Barracuda Plier. This is good for pike fly fishing. It's a long plier, so you can take a streamer out from the mouth of a pike with no risk. Tenkara rods from Tenkara Rod CO. The teeter rod is 12 feet long and it's uh, an all around rod. You can use it almost uh, everywhere. So, this is why it's a uh, uh, it's a great rod and it's a Tankara rod I sell the most. This is the mini Tatum rod. The mini Tatum rod it means the rod is this size. Tenkara Waihi rod. This is a Tenkara rod you can use if you fish uh, for larger fish. So unboxing is finished. See you next week. Ciao.